It's been a long time since my race left the old planet behind. That's what I'm told anyway. I wasn't there. It came to the attention of those studying our star that it was approaching the end of its current stage of life. The matter was put before the Globe Congress, and the consensus was made that the planet was no longer safe to inhabit, and any attempt to prolong the star's life would be too time-consuming and risk catastrophic failure. Plans were hastily made for evacuation, a ship was built around our only moon, terraforming procedures were completed, the population relocated, and in the first year of the new calendar we set off, putting as much distance between us and the star as fast as the ship would allow. Three and a half years later, our grandfathers watched the old star collapse into darkness. That's what I'm told anyway. As I said, that was all long before my time. We're closing up the 53rd year of the new calendar now. I wonder if people were any different back before all of that. Statistically, the old planet was 11.4 times the size of the new one. Maybe with all that extra space, we didn't have so much reason to fight with each other. The surface of the new planet is always in conflict. Physical confrontation on the old planet was banned by the Congress 216 years before the new calendar, and the act was reinforced for the new planet in year 7. But that doesn't really stop hostilities. None of the greater provinces have ever been satisfied with the space they were allotted on the new planet. There was never really enough landmass to support agriculture, and the first two decades after the exodus saw a notable decline in population. Eventually, in year 23, the Congress revised the legal definition of famine to match our new production potential, officially ending the food crisis. I doubt problems like that existed on the old planet. I wish I could say more definitively, but I can never seem to find many records of life on the old planet, apart from the ones covering its loss. I don't know, maybe the new planet is better. Maybe there's something to be said for not being tied to a star. That's what all my peers seem to think anyway, though I'd hardly call them experts on the subject. But somehow I don't think having been there would help either. The elders I've met who remember enough to make a comparison always act like the old planet was some kind of paradise, which never seemed quite right to me. None of it should matter so much to me anyway, really. The old planet is basically a legend, and I've barely set foot on the new one. Oh yeah, I live on the ship, by the way, not the planet's surface. Just under the north primary shaft. Keeping up maintenance means I don't get to visit the surface very often. I like it, but when I think about it, it probably gives me a different view on things. From up here, it just looks like we're drifting. We're four light years out from any possible destination. I suppose the old planet is still out there. It's unlikely it was destroyed outright. I guess it's drifting along like us. Maybe... Uh...